Tired of the same old internet suffixes like .com and .org? Being able to use .google might be in your future. Bloomberg explains. The world's largest search engine has applied for its own top-level domain names, which also include .youtube and .lol. Top-level domains are more commonly known as the three letters behind the dot in a web address. In its official blog post, Google pointed to a recent report, which says almost 50% of all websites use the .com suffix. By opening up more choices for internet domain names, we hope people will find options for more diverse and perhaps shorter signposts in cyberspace. There are other suffixes out there like .biz and .gov, but before any suffix can be used, it has to be approved by the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN. In 2008, ICANN announced it was expanding the register of Internet suffixes, allowing companies to submit applications for new domains. At Age Digital reports, companies jumped at the chance. ICANN said it received more than 1,900 applications, which would bring in an estimated $350 million in application fees. ICANN says it will unveil all of the applications June 13th. It's not clear when these domains will hit the web. But ICANN's plan is not without its critics. More than 40 companies, including heavyweights like General Motors and Coke, described the push for more domains as a shakedown. The companies complain they will be forced to shell out more money to buy the names before squatters do. Right now, many companies spend hundreds of dollars to defensively register domains they do not need, like .info, .biz, and .xxx. And as Business Computing World's Jonathan Edwards points out, new domains won't mean much if companies don't use them. If popular extensions like .com stay as popular as ever, other TLDs might get left on the fringe, along with underused extensions like .biz. Google's early support is a positive sign for ICANN's new domains, though it's unclear what sort of interesting and creative potential .lol sites might have. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.